Good morning, one and all. Myself, Dr. Rupa, consultant in obstetrics and gynecology, Hyderabad. Okay, now uh, let us discuss some of the important questions in uh, maternal physiological changes during pregnancy. Okay, okay. Which layer arrangement is the thickest and strongest of the uterus? Is it longitudinal, circular, or intermediate? The answer is intermediate because see the arrangement. Okay, in this the muscle fibers along with this, along with these muscle fibers, blood vessels are present. Okay, when these muscle fibers contract, they occlude, occlude. blood vessels so they control bleeding bleeding during delivery or after delivery okay it is also known as living ligature okay it is also known as living ligature see these are the muscle fibers and this is a blood vessel. When these muscle fibers contract, they occlude the blood vessels. These form the figure of 8. Muscle fibers are arranged as figure of 8. Whatever I have written or whatever I have said in this slide is everything important. They can ask regarding the living ligature. They can ask regarding the figure of 8 arrangement. They can ask the mechanism how the bleeding is controlled after delivery or during delivery. Because of the contraction of the muscle fibers, they occlude the blood vessels okay next all the blood coagulation factors are increased except except see factors which increase are 1 7 8 9 10 unchanged are 2 5 12 decreased are 11 and 13 okay i already have explained in the class 11 and 13 are the factors which will Decrease. Okay. So, answer is C. Next. Cardiac output is highest in which position? Highest. It is highest in left lateral, right lateral and knee chest position. Most of the people of undergraduate or doing post graduation at present don't know what is the knee chest position. See, the knee chest position. The knee will be touching the chest. See, the feet is lying inside. Okay, this is the knee chest position. The main aim of this uh, question is also to see which are the positions it is highest and to show the knee chest position. Okay, next. Total iron requirement during pregnancy. See, I have asked regarding the pregnancy. That is 1000 milligrams. In the 1000 milligrams, it is distributed as 300 for fetus plus placenta. Almost other 350 to 400 mg for RBC volume, expanded RBC volume. And other 300 lost through normal routes. Okay, it is again classified. So, total iron requirement during pregnancy is 1000 milligrams. Hemodilution. I think I have explained this in the class. You all know it also. What is the advantage? In last 10 years papers, I can say that this question will be repeated almost 3 to 4 times. That much important. Okay. It increases the blood viscosity. No. It decreases the blood viscosity. It protects the mother from the adverse effects of the supine and the erect position, supine hypotension syndrome. Okay, we can say it, yes. It decreases the exchange of gases between the mother and fetus. Wrong. It increases the gases exchange because of the decrease in the blood viscosity. It decreases the blood loss of mother during delivery. Okay, I have already said that all the three or four points will be twisted, twisted, twisted and will be given as a question. As I said now, it may be asked as true statement or it may be asked as all are true except. Okay. So, it protects the mother from the adverse effects of the supine and erect posture. All of the following changes occur in the urinary system in the pregnancy except. 
in the urinary system and specially asking about the urinary system see glomerular filtration rate is increased it is right also renal plasma flow also increased by 15 50% so gfr and renal plasma flow increases by 50% ureter becomes atonic because of the high levels of estrogen wrong see all the all the muscles are relaxed because of the progesterone progesterone hormone there is elongation kinking outward displacement of the ureters it's right and bladder mucosa becomes edematous due to venous and lymphatic compression yes because why the bladder mucosa becomes edematous because the gravity uterus will be compressing the bladder so the bladder mucosa will be edematous and the ureters will be displaced outside heart will be displaced out, outside upside okay and ureters will be displaced that is outwards it becomes kinking and elongated and it becomes ureter becomes atonic because of the progesterone hormone next in pregnancy apex beat is shifted to i have already explained this in the previous class that it is shifted to fourth intercostal space uh, 2.5 centimeters away from the mid clavicular line it is shifted upwards okay upwards and outwards upwards and outwards it is anatomical finding okay next all are the cutaneous changes in the pregnancy except this question is also so much important that they will give an image and they'll say what is this line what are these markings which are present in the pregnancy okay all are the with what are the cutaneous changes chloasma gravidarum will be present on the face linea nigra will be present stria gravidarum will be present see what i have shown in the image is this is the chloasma it will be seen on the face cloisma melasma this will be seen on the face see this straight line is there no this is the linear line linear means line linear gravidarum and the other markings which are present here na these are the stria okay stria and this is the linear okay so cloisma is there linear is there and stria is there except the spider nevi spider nevi can also be seen but not as much as that of the other one it is less okay in the best options which is sometimes what happens is they will give everything but the least one should be selected as the option so spider nevi for that only i have posted this question okay next increase in the blood volume is up to as i have said already explained in the class increase in blood volume is up to 40 to 50% okay by 32 weeks because of the growing fetus enlarging uterus and the placenta okay i think these questions are very much helpful to you all to answer the examinations and i thank you and um, other students are asking some of the topics on management of infertility and also rs negative pregnancy if you have want any topics like that you can post to my telegram or whatsapp channels i'll be explaining them okay thank you